guys, how's it going? I'm Killjoy641, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up everything to live stream to YouTube, and with, uh, with instead of OBS Classic, it's going to be OBS Studio, because a lot of people have jumped ship from Classic to Studio, because Studio has a lot more things that people have been wanting for a long time with Classic, um, such as multi-audio recording, um, transitions, you know, those were just a couple to name. Um, some of the uh, filters and stuff, some of the um, properties have been changed and called filters now, and it just looks a little bit more better and probably a little bit more user-friendly than classic OBS was because um, it was just, it was kind of scary. There was a lot of stuff that didn't make any sense, and um, NVIDIA has been helping them. Uh, build around with this same thing with uh, AMD uh, with their graphics card and all that so I'm gonna show you guys without further ado so anyway start downloading it um, while it's downloading probably a good idea to start signing into YouTube uh, and then you will you're gonna go to video manager um, and then we're gonna go to live stream and then we're gonna stop it here because this is all we really need is on this page right here so once it's done, uh, downloading, install it, that kind of thing, and it will bring you up to this window. This is exactly what it's going to look like. We got scenes and sources, same thing from uh, the original OBS, and we got the mixer, which is just in a different place on OBS, which is really cool. Now they have its own little box, and it looks a lot better. It looks a lot better, I think. So, But anyways, um, so before we start adding sources and scenes and getting the game to go and all that stuff, we are going to start uh, messing with the settings to start recording. Now, with, you can either go on the bottom right-hand corner or the top left-hand corner. Go to File and Settings, or you can go to the bottom. Whatever works. Language, whatever language you speak. And then Theme. There's two different themes. There's Dark, Default. I like the dark one because it just looks more sleeker and also it doesn't hurt my eyes as bad, especially if I've been staring at the screen for a long time. Uh, you know, there's sometimes long, very long streams, and, you know, sometimes the brightness or very bright colors kind of hurt the eyes. Um, so I, um, and this is going to be kind of your preference. You can show confirmation dialogue when starting or stopping. High cursor over projectors. So, like, if I were to put it over a game, if I was hovering over something, um, you could do that. You can automatically record when streaming and keep recording when it stops. Um, just because if you lost connection to Twitch or YouTube, it still records, which is an awesome thing. I love it. It's really neat, and I'm glad they implemented it into it. And uh, source alignment snapping, I left this alone because you really don't need to mess with this. Um, it's just kind of if you want to you see what it does, you know, you can mess around with it. I normally just leave it alone. So we're going to click apply, whatever you wanted to uh, pick out of these. Uh, some people, I know I'll probably do the starting or stopping just because that's me. So streaming services, make sure that's that, not custom streaming services. We're going to use streaming service and instead of Twitch, YouTube slash YouTube gaming. And make sure the primary YouTube ingest server is the that one for the server. And to get the stream key, you would just highlight this and uh, copy and paste and put it in there, which is not, that's not the right one. I know it's not. Uh, then click apply, which is very simple. Click, go to output, and you would actually click reveal, not just copy that. You click reveal and then do it. If I revealed it to you guys, then you guys would be able to just live stream to my YouTube channel, which is weird. Um, there's two different output modes, simple and advanced. Advanced is just like, okay, you have multiple audio tracks now that you can use. You can uh, set to uh, where you want to record it at. Same thing with the audio. You can put audio track name. So then uh, when you do edit videos, then you're like, okay, well, I'm not super confused. I know what's what and all that. Um, that's just kind of uh, your preference if you want to. And a lot of this stuff, if you look back to the original OBS, a lot of this advanced stuff is on there. But right now, we're just going to leave it simple. Um, and this is the part where I'm going to put a link in the description below for this because this is going to help a lot um, especially because YouTube's a little bit different than Twitch Twitch um, their bitrate for their videos is not super high but for YouTube it's pretty crazy 
So just to record at 1080p at 60 FPS, well not record, but to stream, you need your upload speed to be anywhere between four and a half to 9,000 kilobytes a second, or really like nine megabytes upload. Um, same thing with 720p, 225, or 2,250 to 6,000. Um, that's just kind of dependent on what you would like to go to. I will probably keep mine probably at 4,500 when streaming to this just to keep it just below it um, and that's also this is going to be a different number for everybody because you everyone does not have the same upload speed that kind of thing uh, audio bitrate I'm gonna set mine to 128 because I don't want any more uh, more um, upload speed to be used with just in case if I was playing trying to upload a video what if I was on Skype that kind of thing um, it's just dependent on that um, recording path, I set mine so then I know where the video is going to be at. Um, recording quality, these are just qualities. This is like low, but it's still good. Uh, so say this is like 720p, 1080p, and this is like 2K. Like this, it will look sharp. I like mine, the indistinguishable quality, because uh, if, say if I wanted to zoom in on something funny that happened, it won't be as blurry or pixelated but it won't be like super sharp and it won't be a huge file size which I like that a lot recording format I like to have it at mp4 so if I just wanted to upload the whole entire stream to YouTube then that would be the easiest way to do it because YouTube likes that .mp4 format um, the encoder software to leave it as is and customer mixer muxer settings however you say it we're gonna leave it as that so audio, uh, I have my sample rate at 44.1 kilohertz because you also have to think of um, what you're going to be doing with um, live streaming. You got to think of uh, your upload speed. Channels keep it to stereo. Desktop audio device have it to your speakers, and then we're going to have my microphone, and then we're going to click apply. These things will pop up. You don't really have to do it unless this is really just customized to you, to your liking. If you want to enable push to mute, you can. Push to talk, you can. Push to mute for desktop. Push to talk to audio. It's really totally up to you on that. Um, I'm not really going to do that. I mean, I have uh, the Turtle Beach PX22s, and it comes with like a little card thing that I could turn my mic off or at least turn off the mic. Uh, or I meant the headset. Um I could turn off the headset or the microphone, whatever, and it won't capture any of that. So I don't really have a problem. It's probably used for other, like, probably people that are using, like, the Blue Yeti as a microphone and another headset, you know, whatever works. Um, base, 1920 by 1080. Output scale, 1280 by 720. Um, that's not really a big problem. It's mainly used for Twitch because... Um, to be verified or whatever on there and to be able to get the uh, the gear to change the quality of the video do you have to have so many followers or people subscribe to you or something or been doing it for so long I don't remember but um, with YouTube it are every every video every live stream will have this so you don't really have to worry about that downscale filter um, I keep mine a by cubicle just because and I have a lot of RAM on my computer so it's fine um, 60 because we want to be outputting to 60 FPS with that and then you can also set your hotkeys if you want I don't have any because I haven't really uh, messed around with this advanced we're gonna need the process priority normal render 3d 11 video adapter it doesn't give me one color filter norm or that one and so on and so forth recording file name formatting just leave that as is and then stream delay I normally put a stream delay just in case if I was saying uh, or playing, say, uh, DayZ. You know, I don't want someone to be like, okay, I know what server he's in. Let's go stream snipe him, you know, and just ruin the moment or something. You know, it's uh, kind of a pain, but, you know, whatever. Um, you can enable that, set a duration for how many seconds. Um, of course, automatically reconnect, and then the network bind IP, make sure that's set to default, and click apply or okay. So now we got everything going, which is really awesome. And now we need to set up um, some sources. So I'm going to rename this scene um, streaming. So this is when I'm streaming. This is what's going to be going on. Um, I'm going to add a uh, game capture device. 
or we'll add a game capture and instead of capture any full screen application we're gonna do a window and I'm gonna select Arma 3 because Arma 3 is amazing and it's a very fun game uh, use anti-cheat compatibility hooking make sure that's check mark just because a lot of games now um, they're searching for uh, any hacks you have on your computer and sometimes uh, games I know Daisy for a while I couldn't use action to record it because um, they thought or the game thought it was uh, a hack like it was overlaying the screen with um, something I mean it's really hard to tell and they're like no no we can't do that but um, that's why that's there and we're just gonna click OK so now it pops up which is awesome and it's going good and uh, you can hear the audio OBS picks that up just fine and I mean it and it picks up me moving my mouse and all that so that's awesome so um, let's say we wanted to add a video like a camera and we can name this camera if I can spell it right there we go and then that's my camera um, oh deactivate when not showing oh that's kinda cool I might do that um, and I like I said I haven't really m super messed with this stuff yet but um, it's pretty neat it's almost the same thing it's just better in a lot of ways so we got um, the normal where you can drag move it around you can hold down alt and crop it if you want to uh, if you hold down control it, like it'll set um, that back to normal if you hold down shift then you can like squeeze it around and all that stuff if you hold down control it puts it back to where it was so that's all good and fine I ha actually have it pointed in my window because my girlfriend's working on a few things on her computer and she's super super camera shy so anyways um, so we got everything going we got pretty much the basics of everything and sadly um, I wish YouTube had its own uh, like twitch alert thing but it doesn't so when people do subscribe to you pops up or whatever but it doesn't I or at least I haven't find found a thing for it um, if not I may do a separate video on that and show you guys where it's at but yeah so this is pretty much the basics of everything you know you got everything's responding great that kind of thing um, and if you notice the mic if I stop talking then you can hear uh, the fan uh, that kind of thing and uh, OBS picks that up and see we don't want that because I know a lot of people like they don't like to hear the background noise and I've been trying to get better on that but um, but yeah it's kind of a pain so we're gonna go to filters to audio filters and we're gonna click the plus and we're gonna do noise gate and we're just gonna click OK leave it as noise gate and I like to set my down to for the close for 20 and then the open for 10 just because it doesn't pick up my keyboard doesn't pick it up at all but you guys of course uh, listening to the recording it does of course but um, and it also doesn't uh, pick up my voice say if I was like drinking something or taking a bite to eat you know you guys don't want to hear that especially if I'm like munching over some food that kind of thing and that's really about it um, for this video um, like I said you can set you can kind of mess around with setting up multiple audio sources that kind of thing you would have to get a virtual plugin uh, like a virtual cable plugin for your computer if you want to do that which does cost money I think it's like 20 bucks to buy a few and then you can record separately like Skype or Discord or TeamSpeak and then your game and then your mic that kind of thing which is which is helpful I know a lot of people prefer that over um, just having it all in one audio when you're trying to re uh, edit videos um, but hey whatever works for everyone else um, but yeah other than that thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys learned something if you guys have any questions or concerns please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help out as much as I can other than that thank you guys and I will see you guys in the next one